on, Rory, let's use this thing in the way it's supposed to be used, isn't it? Come on. Deep rhythm captivates me, hot rhythm stimulates me. I'm a swinging boy, swing me, brother, swing. Don't stop to diddle daddle, stop at this foolish prattle. Come on, swing it, boy, swing it, brother, swing. At the moment, I'm into this clean stuff. I, I, I'm into experimenting with all sorts of structures and stuff. I've got, I've got something really big planned. Let's see what I've got in this one. I can't help myself as I go along, just doing, just doing drawings. But yeah, some of the structures look these. Well, they'd be quite wild, wouldn't they? Would you live in one of these then? Absolutely. Yeah, would you? Yeah. This is the basis for my eco house. I mean, these books are full of them. Um, they're a little bit Leonardo sketchbooks, I think. Some people say it looks like Flash Gordon. I suppose some of these do, don't they? What I'm trying to do is recreate gothic shapes in a, in a contemporary way. So I'm just experimenting with structures up for a big, 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 big project. Um, but I did say that oh, not all engineering is dirty, but this is, it's covered in hen poo, look, because, because since they've been here, my son's wild hens that he collects are using this to escape polecats at night. They climb up this and they go and roost in the trees up there, look. And so they use this and we've left it here because they use it as a natural stepping stone kind of thing, you know. My high-tech structures are helping his hens. Get the chicks out, let's have a look at the chicks. Come on, here they are. Come on, ah, go on get back in. Ah, go on, go on. And he, he sees it as a product. He can keep turning his hens over, selling them. He's then Rory's messed up my work and created a, a ghetto of, uh, of hen pens all in, a, all in a line. It's great because this is a, this is a bit of dog cage. This is a, a, a dog cage just taken apart and we can use that as a use that as a door you know and then Rory's bodged it about about a bit and uh, on the Isle of Man we've got no foxes no badgers no deer no moles but so the top of the food chain is polecats the worst death this week has been his prize look at it sorry it's covered in flies his prize ah his prize cockerel but uh, polecats and dead hens I suppose that's just nature really isn't it? I suppose we have to put up with it so Food for long tails, that's what they call them here, rats. Food for all the rats, we've got massive rats everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you do, you do. So, um, and if you've got an engine up here, you're going to show us that engine you're stripping down. Yeah. Sure, we're going to have a look. Come on then. This, this is the bench where I do all my stuff outside. Uh, and here's a couple of my old carburettors off my Land Rover. Now, these are great, these are these little things give that Land Rover all that power. And, but Rory's got all his gear in the way, look. He's gonna got his own little carburetor of his little his little tractor engines and he's just hoovered all this in from me. I don't he's just soaked it up like a sponge. He just loves the idea of these things moving, don't you Rory? And that's rotated by piston going up and down this one cylinder. There's only one cylinder on it, and it sits sits in the lawnmower like that. And the whole thing, that's it. That's just that going in and out, in and out. And a starter motor just catches onto that cog there. Can you see that there? And just fires it up. Well, in the top here, there should be a cylinder head with a spark plug in it. Oh. Powering the spark, fires the petrol, pushes the piston down, turns the shaft round. As that goes round, these magnets create the power which put the spark into the spark plug. So as it is, we're just overwhelmed with stuff and stuff from the tip, you know. So it, this is all my palette. This is all the stuff that I use. Oh, let me show you this. Let me show you this. Come over here. 